What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Aviation and welcome to a very exciting video. That is because today Christian and I will be logging our first hours in our Cirrus SR20 here. Now I know what you're saying. Owen is not a CFI. You guys can't log any of the time when you fly with him and that's correct. That's why we're still at zero hours. Well, actually like one or two hours. My first hour was in the Cessna Citation 501 and then Christian logged one in the 172 the other day when we were flying with Sean here, our CFI for the day. Vlog meet Sean, Sean meet the vlog. So, you have about 100 hours in a SR20, That's right? Correct. I uh, went to Western Michigan University, got my instrument commercial single in one of these. Great airplane that they got here. It's actually in really, really good condition. So yeah, finally, we are building some time. You all have been just pounding us lately. Why do you have all these planes and not flying them? What are you doing? I get it. But hey, we're finally making it happen now, thanks to the Sean. So be sure to follow his Instagram page. Coming to the rescue. We got a lot of great content on Instagram and YouTube. You guys have probably seen his videos. You know, like the Super Bowl arrival and departure videos out of Scottsdale, that video that went semi-viral on YouTube. Yeah, that's him. So anyway, here we go. Here's the plane 357 X-ray. You guys saw us buy this plane out of Georgia. What was that? A few videos ago. And now we are flying it again. It had some work done here at Glendale Airport. We'll explain that probably in a future video. It's not the fault of the guys here. It's just the parts availability. Really frustrating tracking down the parts for this plane. Yeah, there's a lot more to the story, but We'll save that for a future video. And if you're wondering why we don't have a front nose fairing, that's because Christian and I are on the controls and we're gonna be slamming the crap out of this thing on our first landings. No, just kidding, hopefully not. All right, nice day for flying. A little windy, but temps are cool. And really, we got all day to cruise around. So, if you guys are interested in flying, you know, getting your license, you're gonna learn a lot from Sean today. He knows his stuff. We're gonna learn a lot. I'm sure we're gonna make some mistakes and you know, screw some things up, but that's what you get with flight training and being a beginner pilot, you know, you gotta, learn from your mistakes, know where you go wrong. We're beginner pilots, guys. Don't expect greatness, but we'll see. We'll do our best. Uh, Christian, if you want to check the uh, nav light on that side. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got strobes on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. And then your landing light's going to be up in the nose. Yeah, so your gas is a little bit difficult to find. It's going to be right down up in here, this little metal part right here. This little one. Golly, I didn't. Yep. Know about that that's one. Lost one of your fuel systems, so if there were contaminants, that's it's where It's good to be. check there. All right, and there they are. They just landed. Well, now it's time for Christian and I to hop in and for us to hit the skies. Jay just wanted to go up with Sean briefly to get familiarized with the airplane before he drives back to Scottsdale. He gives us a ride over here. Unfortunately, we can't take four people in the SR20. That, uh, that does not work for weight and balance, of course. All right, you want to taxi her out? Sure. All right, you've Jeez. got the controls. Okay, so lead with the rudder. Yep, lead with that rudder. Just, just tap, tap the brakes to get yourself moving okay, to the right. More. And now you can kind of lead into the turn here to get yourself back yeah, on that center yeah. line. So now we can do a little bit of left rudder and a little tap of that left brake. And now we can just right. tap those brakes as need be to keep yourself on that center line. Okay. Yep, and then once you get it, you shouldn't have to do a whole lot of movements right. after you establish that center line. This there looks really go. good. Yep, so that center line should come right from out in front of you and should divide right into the right. center console right here. Lower to the right. Yeah. We were talking on the way over vlog, the things that intimidate us the most, and one of them is literally taxing. Seems so simple, but we just have one so, of the hardest things to learn so about flying. Little, little experience <laughs> with that. And then also just rudder uh, input and braking on takeoff mm -hmm. and landing. Yeah, just getting used to all that is also a little, a little yes. worrisome right but now. But the we'll radios, we like to think that we'll be okay with the radio, so maybe we should put that to the test of this fall. Hey, you wanna, you can uh, oh. call it for departure. Oh gosh, Chris, what are you saying? That terrifies <laughs> me too. All right, let's go over here. We're gonna do our engine run up. All right, I'll take the controls. Okay, you got the controls. All right, I'm gonna do our engine run up checklist. All right, so our before takeoff checklist, our doors, we're gonna defer them just cause it's pretty hot and I'm sweating. Okay. Caps pen is out and the cover is off. Seat belts, we are, all three of us are nice and secure. Fuel quantity is confirmed. We are on the fullest tank. Fuel pump, we're going to go to boost. Flaps, we're going to set to 50%. That is the nice thing I like about this system, is that we have our checklists all built into the system. I was about to make the comment on that. Guys, this plane's beautiful. Like 2002, this model. Over 20 years old, and we have automated built-in electronic checklist. Shows you how yeah. far ahead of the time Cirrus was when they, when they brought this thing out. Man, awesome. All right, transponder set. We're going to go into altitude mode. 
Heading bug on our uh, PFD is on a heading that's not our heading. We're just going to be seeing the, if the autopilot is going to be functional. We're going to hit heading mode, and it's going to start turning towards that uh, heading. Yeah. And now we can disconnect it. There's your disconnect sound. So that automatically put in some aileron trim, so I'm going to readjust that back to center. So this has uh, elevator trim forward and backwards, but it also has aileron trim. So I can push this left and right, and you see the stick starts moving like that. Oh, yeah. And if you look out at the ailerons, it's automatically going to start moving those ailerons. Just the electronic. And it's touchy. You remember it's how very, touchy it is? I remember very a couple touchy. times. Small input's all you need. Absolutely. Okay. All right, cabin heat, we don't need it. Brakes are held. Power is going to come up to 1,700. All right, we're going to do our mag drop. We're going to go over to the left, watch for a drop in RPM. Basically just grounding half of our spark plugs here, so we're going to get a drop 60. in performance. We got 60, back to both. We're going to note our start RPM, 1700. We're going to go to the right Rapid side. 701 Papa at Glendale. Information Victor, ready for taxi. I am right about the same. as well. Oh, that's good. Back to both. One Papa, on the ground, one one nine, attack the Alpha. Bingo. All right, instruments are all in the green. We are charging on our amps. Our volts look good. Oil temperature, oil pressure are all in the green. Looks CHTs great. are looking great. And we're this bring engine is solid. Guys. It's nice and smooth. Runs really good. All right, we're going to go power to idle. Make sure it doesn't want to quit on us. All right, back to 1,000. We're going to go back to our checklist here. We got no red X's on our PFD. We're going to check our flight controls. So we got left is up, left is down, right is up, right is down. Free and clear. Uh, trim is set for takeoff. Autopilot is disconnected. All right, we're going to go now. So we're going to make this easy on ourselves. We're going to go to our in-flight slash landing checklist page, and we're going to select our climb checklist here. We're going to show the checklist. So now, when we're ready for the climb checklist, all I have to do is scroll twice, and there it is for it's me. Ready to go. Yep. Boys, ready to roll? Yes, yes sir. All okay. Right. Is there a simple radio call I can make? Yeah. Oh, so I'm going to switch us over to tower. We're going to say who we're talking to, who we are, where we are, and what we want to do. So Glendale, Glendale Tower? Yep, so yeah. it's going to be Glendale Tower, Glendale Cirrus Tower. 357 X-ray. Where are we? We're at runway 19er, and we're ready for departure. We'll wait for that call just a little bit. We're going to give him a little bit of time to get up and out of the area and get that wake turbulence time to clear. Get a video of this bad boy. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's a Falcon 50. Okay, ready? Ready. Glendale Tower, Cirrus 357 X-ray at runway 19er, ready for departure. Cirrus 357 X-ray, Glendale Tower, caution, wake turbulence departure of the Falcon. Runway 19er, straight out approved, clear for takeoff. So 19er, clear for takeoff. 19er, clear for takeoff, 57 X-ray. Beautiful. All right, our strobes are on. We're nice. going to get our landing lights on just for the takeoff. We got the final is clear, the runway is clear. Let's go flying, boys. Let's do it. Looks like a right crosswind. It's kind of varying between right down the pipe and a little bit of a right crosswind. So we're yeah, going to apply a little bit of right, right crosswind correction. I'm just going to ease the power up. All the way up to full. And there we go. Our power is set. Instruments are in the green and air speed's alive. We're looking for 67 knots. There she is. Rotate. Bam. And we're up and away. Just like that. Just like that. All right, we're going to wait for plus 200 feet. There it is right there. We're positive rate, 85 knots. We're going to get our flaps up. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go over to our climb checks. Yeah, our climb power is set. Flaps are verified up. Mixture is full rich. Parameters were good, and fuel pump is coming off. Okay, off with the boost pump. Cool. Uh, and we're going to go to the next checklist. That's our cruise checklist. We're going to go back to our engine page. Yeah. Easy as that. Okay. Easy as that. Good. All right, man. You want to try her out? Yes, I All do. All right, you have the controls. All right. We trying to keep level at a certain altitude. Yep, we'll keep it level watch. right at 3,000 feet. And uh, if you see the east-west roads, how they can just follow straight west, we're just going to keep our nose pointed right along those roads. All right. This is a nice heading to keep us clear of any airspace. So kind of a rule of thumb that you're going to do, uh, this airplane's a little bit different on your sight picture, but the top of your fingers right here should align right with the horizon. It's going to vary for each airplane, but right, right about there is a nice yeah. level attitude. And if you look here, you're holding 3,000 per. So if you notice, too, while you're turning, see how you're starting to descend like that? So oh, yeah. as you're turning, you're going to need to add in back pressure. Yeah, I do, And yeah. Uh, you'll learn all about the different aerodynamics. But the basic principle is, so when you're straight and level, if you've got a 3,000-pound airplane, you need 3,000 pounds of lift to keep it up, right? right? But as you start banking, to pull the airplane into the turn, some of that vertical lift is compromised to pull you into your turn. So it, t it turns your vertical lift into what we call horizontal component of lift. That's what allows you to turn the airplane. 
So as a result of that, we no longer have the 3,000 pounds of lift to keep the airplane up. So what's the nose going to do? It's going to want to start going down. So you got to compensate. So compensate that by bringing in back pressure. Exactly. Do you like when uh, pilots knock out their written first? Should it be after? Should it be during? It's what's very nice to have the written done first. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it, it definitely puts you ahead of the game, 100%. If a CFI tells you in the air, hey, this this is this, or what do, what do we do when we do this? Uh, could be any sort of thing, regulations, uh, how aerodynamics work, any of that. If you're not really ahead of the game, it may be very, very difficult for you to comprehend and, and apply that into your flight training. So I always like to say, if you're going to flight train, get ahead of the game, just like these guys are going to be doing. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll give them a few grounds myself, but I, I feel like they're motivated enough to to want to learn on their own too well that just worked out to be the perfect transition to thanking the sponsor of today's video pilot institute pilot institute has been a long-term supporter of the channel and they are by far our favorite company to work with that's because we literally use them on a daily basis we have been studying day in day out working toward our written you just heard sean talk about it passing the written exam is a crucial part in order to get your pilot's license and the best way to train for it is with pilot institute all the courses are taught by knowledgeable and professional instructors the videos are very easy to follow along even if you think it's daunting to get your license Believe me, with something like Pilot Institute, it makes it a lot more easy to understand. The education is so good, in fact, that they guarantee you'll pass your written exam on your first try or your money back. They've already helped over 250,000 people become pilots or drone pilots. Yes, you heard that right. They do drone education as well. You guys gotta check them out in the link down below. It'll get you the best deal and a little savings, but believe me, it's one of the best investments you can make. It'll save you so much money in the long run. Thank you, Pilot Institute, for the education you've given me so far toward flying. I've loved every bit of it. And of course, by supporting the channel, making videos like this possible. Now, without further ado, back to the learning. All right, I'm gonna start seeing if we can grab the AWOS. Altimeter, 2 9 8 9 All right, 2 9 8 9 What you can do, we can aim to the right side of that red mountain ahead of Wickenburg us. Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. 2, 1, 3, 4, Zulu, weather, wind, 2, 5, 0, at 7, visibility, 7. And I'm going to go ahead and give a call on the CTAP here. Wickenburg traffic, series 357, x-ray 10 to the south, inbound for right traffic, runway 23, Wickenburg. Hey, sir, Wickenburg traffic, this is Coyote, we're a Blackhawk, right traffic, 23, Wickenburg. We'll uh, uh, let you know we're good. Okay, Roger, we'll keep an eye out for you. Black Hawk, nice. See the runway anywhere? Where should it be? Uh, it's gonna be just to the left of the town. Yeah. So we can aim a little bit more to the left here. Yeah. I'm gonna go direct, enter, enter. Mother Nature is not playing nice today. Whew. There it is, over the bump, over the mountains. Yep. <laughs> There's that moderate turbulence they were talking about today. Okay, I see the airport straight out ahead of us. Okay. Yeah. Yep, runway's gonna be going in this direction. Wickenburg traffic's here's 357 X-ray, about four to the south. We're gonna be overflying the field. 3,900 for right traffic, runway 23, Wickenburg. I'll take the landing on this, and then once yep. we're gonna do a full stop, we're gonna switch. I'm gonna put you in the left seat, and we'll do a few laps. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I see they're on the road. Wickenburg County is a bit field on two, three, we're just we're going to boost off EP and we'll uh, sidestep to the taxiway so you can put the runway and we'll figure out what we're going to do. Roger, thank you, sir. In Wickenburg traffic, series 357 X-ray. We're over flying at 3900. We're going to be making right traffic, runway 23, full stop, Wickenburg. All right, I'll take the controls. Yep, here, controls. Fly controls. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start bringing the power back so we're not screaming into the pattern here. I'm going to start descending down to my pattern altitude. Do I say. You want me on the radio? Yeah. The room. Yep, so it's always start with who you're talking to. Who we are. Traffic, series 357 X-ray, entering the right downwind for runway 23. Yep, and then finish with Wickenburg. Okay. Wickenburg traffic, series 357 X-ray, entering the right downwind for runway 23, Wickenburg traffic. Very nice. So I'm going to bring the power back here. We're going to start getting configured to land. All right. Wickenburg traffic, series 357 X-ray, right base 23, full stop, Wickenburg. Wickenburg traffic, Sears 57 X-ray turning final, 23, full stop, Wickenburg. We're gonna let it come down here. Re-intercept that glide path. We're gonna hold 80 knots all the way to the runway. Yep. Okay, we got a little bit of a left crosswind pushing us. There's the runway made. We're gonna go power to idle. We're gonna let the airplane come down just nice and naturally. We're gonna let it fly until it doesn't wanna fly anymore. 
Nice. There we go. A little crosswind correction. We're going to get back to that center line. Yeah, we're in Wickenburg, guys. So we're like, oh, <laughs> figure we might as well pop in and see what's going on at Master Aircraft Painting. Oh, my gosh. We got a Piaggio. Owen, wow. we got your Piaggio here. <laughs> That's sick. Painting a pasta rocket. Wickenburg traffic series 57 X-ray clear of runway 23, Wickenburg. That's it. Boom. All right, let's go see if Gus is here. All right, if you can hear me, we're swapping seats. Christian's hopping out to get some shots of it ripping overhead and then we'll finish it off by grabbing some fuel before we leave and then Christian will uh, fly on the way back to Scottsdale. So, epic day so far. Learning so much already, thank you so much. Let's go do some touch and goes and maybe my first landing, if you trust me. One other thing, of course, we love these doors not only because they look cool, but look, ingress and egress, so easy. And also one on each side makes life nice. Uh, whereas the Bonanza, you know, just having one, it's a little annoying sometimes. Having all pollen through one, okay. All right, we're back. If you guys are still watching this part of the video, you're a real one, thank you so much. I know this might be boring to some people, but you all have asked for it. Uh, you know, start to finish getting a license, what it's like, and this is episode number one, I guess, so here we go. Absolutely. Wickenburg traffic, Cirrus 357 X-ray, crossing runway 23, taxiing via Alpha to 23. Wickenburg traffic. Perfect. All right, you have the controls, and we can start moving. We are cleared on the left, and the right is clear. Boy, the amount of pattern laps you've done in your life. <laughs> Yeah, that's CFI. Yeah, I think half my life has been in the pattern. CFI has been a, a great learning tool. It's, you learn so, so, so much as a CFI. I know a lot of people don't want to do it as their kind of initial uh, career step from a student pilot to a professional pilot. But in my opinion, the lessons that you get from being a CFI are invaluable and will carry you through your training for the rest of your career. Right. We're yeah. going to look for 67 knots and then we're going to rotate, do a nice gentle tug back, and we're going to climb out right around 85 knots. We're going to get the flaps up at 200 feet and then we'll start climbing out at 96. Good. So if anything happens before the rotation that I don't like, I'm going to take control. I'll pull the power. We'll stop on the runway. And if we need to hop out of the airplane, we'll do that. If we're above our rotation and we're in the air, if we've got runway remaining, I'm going to set it back down onto the runway. Okay. If we're up in the air and we don't have runway remaining, if something happens, if we're below 600 feet above the ground, so roughly around 2,800 feet MSL, uh, we're going to land straight ahead Looking within 30 road. degrees of our nose. Yep, find the best suitable spot to land. If we're above 600 AGL, we'll consider using the cap system. Still look for a road possibly. Yeah. And then if we're above 1,000 feet, we'll make a nice 180 and land in the opposite right. direction. It's always 1,000 feet over ground level, yes. pretty much 180. Yep, okay. because it's, we call that the impossible turn. So anything really below 1,000 AGL, it's it's going to be next to impossible to try to but above you, make a nice. Yep, gotcha. Exactly. Cool. We're going to do what's called a positive exchange of flight controls. If I want you to take controls, I'm going to say you have the flight controls. You're going to I respond. Yeah, that. you have the control, I or controls. you're going to say I have controls, okay. and then I'm going to confirm it by saying you have controls a third time. So if I was flying and you want to fly, you're going to say my controls, your controls. Yep, and I'll say my controls once again. Okay. Yep that three-step process. Got it. I'll help you with your comms since you'll be pretty task-saturated. Uh, if you are ready to roll, we'll yep. get out of here. Wickenburg traffic, Sirius 357 X-ray departing runway 2-3. We'll be making right close traffic. Wickenburg. All right. It's a little more power. To there you go. We'll straighten ourselves out. All right, our final is clear. The runway is clear. Let's get our landing light on. And when you're ready, all just right. a nice gentle application all the way up to full power. Up to fall in the green. Oh, yeah, we're not in a turbo anymore. Go a little <laughs> quicker with that. Oh, yeah, it goes a long way. Yep. Okay, there All we right. go. Airspeed's green, airspeed's alive. We're looking for 67 okay. knots. There we go. All right, and now we can pull back. Beautiful. All right, there's plus 200. We are at 85. We got a positive rate. Let's bring okay. those flaps up. Flaps up. Yeah, there it is, sinking a little bit. Yep, and we'll start climbing back up, 96 knots. So just a nice gentle turn, usually between 10 and 15 degrees is about good for your right, turn right across around. Well. Yep. There. Wickenburg traffic, series 57 X-ray, right down, one, two, three, touch and go, Wickenburg. All right, so we can keep bringing that power back even yeah. more. Got so much, like, It input. takes a lot. Yeah, all right, I wasn't used to that. 
because we're now already almost at the end of our runway where we're going to get configured to land again. We're going to hold our altitude. Let's pitch the nose up just a little bit. Let our speed come down. We're under 120, so let's get flaps 50%. 50%. Okay, here comes your, there's your runway way back yeah, there. So it. let's start that turn to the base. Slow turn. That wind's pushing us. Okay. Definitely. 30 knots. Wickenburg traffic, Sirius 57 X-ray, right base 23, touch and go, Wickenburg. We're going to keep the flaps where they're at right now just because it is really gusty. So let's start bringing that power out. There you go. Keep it pointed right at those numbers. Yeah. Okay, keep it coming down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the power to idle and yep. now we're just gonna that slowly idle. start bringing it up. And okay, we're gonna rudder. go a little bit of left rudder and keep bringing up that nose, keep bringing up that nose. Ooh, first landing. It's a greaser. Now. All right, we're already at flaps 50, off we go. All right, yep, so, so nice gentle push up of power all the way to full. There's the power. There's your 767, let's rotate. And rotate. And we're already up and away. That was a freaking greaser, man. <laughs> Got lucky. Got a good instructor. Okay, there we go. Okay, yep. Lap, so we're going to do it 200 feet. Yep. Now we'll start to slowly turn. Roger that. So now we can just point the nose right at those numbers. Let's get in a little bit of power to hold that 80 knots. We're going to rest that descent rate. Just point it right at those numbers. All right, our runway's made. Let's go power to idle. And now we can just nicely pull up here. Two, three, Wickerberg. All right, keep pulling up. Let it rest. Let it come down. Let it come down. Oop. There you go. Just hold that back pressure in. All right. Not bad. All right, let's go flaps 50. Flaps 50. And off we go. All right, we'll do one more. Yeah, full power. There's your 67. Uh, Happens quick. Yeah. Laps up. 85 positive rate plus 200. How's it feel so far? Good. Yeah, so hey, you're doing great. That last landing, so what? I flared a little too much, then we got just a, little a little too, too slow, high. and we just sank. Yep. Yeah, I ran out of, that was like pulling basically uh, just about all the way back. So. Yep, we ran out of energy there, that's why you kind of settled down on the runway, and you might have pulled up a little bit too early. Okay, yeah, I think so. This is much better on your speed. There we go. Wickenburg traffic, Series 57 X returning final, 2 3 full stop, Wickenburg. All right, we're under 100, let's go flaps full. This is much, much better. See yeah, how much yeah, shallower we are in here? Uh, Yep, so now we can slow down to 80 and just a nice, gentle descent all the way down to the runway. Once you get down to 80, you can pinch in some power to hold 80. Right, okay, there it is a little bit. There you go, very nice. Got more power. Yeah, sure enough. And keep that nose down, keep it towards the runway. There you go. All right, let's go power to idle. Power to idle. All right, so let's start pulling back. Just nicely let it rest onto the runway. Not bad. I'll take it. Hey, you'll take it, man. For right. gusty conditions like that, you did yeah. great. A little tricky out there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Bam. Heck yeah. It's a great introduction today. Hey, what do you think? First touch and goes of a student who's never done any of hey, that? Fantastic job. Gusty right. 22. <laughs> I'm definitely getting the sight picture of like when the gear is going to touch. It's kind of yep. hard to gauge like when it's actually going to touch down. That was awesome. I know I'm was probably sweet. pretty <laughs> stoic on camera just because I'm focusing. But now I can. No, he did a fantastic Once job. Turn this off. I can <laughs> Take a breather. Easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those three bounces look good to me. Right, let's fill her up. Here's Hit the skies. Pattern. Kirsten's up next. So let's head back to Scott's. Maybe do a few practice maneuvers on the way. Kirsten, how was how was that from the outside? Did you, did you see me? Did you see me? Did you see that smooth first landing? That was me. That was my first landing. Water, that was pretty plane. good. We'll go through a lot of the same stuff, so I won't record too much. But as we're coming back to Scottsdale, we'll uh, get the landing cool. on video and stuff. All Bam. right. Bam. All right. Once we're lined up, you can slowly start bringing that throttle all the way up to full. There you go, it's got a little bit more. There we go. See. Power set, instruments green, airspeed's alive. There comes your 67. 60. Almost. 65. All right, and now let's do a yep, nice tuck back. Seven. Yep, so just nice and easy back. And a nice climb out just below 10 there degrees. So we're going to control our airspeed with our pitch. So if we want to go a little bit faster, we're going to pitch that nose down yeah, just down a, little a little bit. Oh, yeah, for you. Keep those wings nice and level. Gotcha. Okay, there's positive rate plus 200 feet. Let's bring those flaps up. We're going to feel a little bit of a drop, and we'll start coming back up. We're a little bit heavy. And now we're going to climb out right at, up to 96. Okay, so we're just going to climb straight out until we hit about 3,000 feet, and then we'll start that right-hand turn. Man, it's a lot to keep up with. Oh, yeah. Speed. 
altitude, which is why it's bugged sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Wickenburg traffic, Sirius 57 X-ray, right down, one, two, three, touch and go, Wickenburg. All right, and now we're gonna slowly transition to pitching that nose down to get just below that horizon. And we're gonna let it start descending here. There you go. So uh, we're gonna go 90 on our base leg and 80 on our final leg. Okay. Yep, so keep that nose pointed down. You can use that trim if you need to. Right. So if you feel like you're fighting it, utilize that trim. Wickenburg traffic, Series 57 X-ray, turning right base, 2-3, touch it, go Wickenburg. All right, there's your runway. There, there it is. More. Beautiful. All right, from here, we've got the runway made. Let's pull the power to idle. All right, keep fighting it. Keep holding that center line. Nice and gradual movements. All right, let's slowly start pulling back and arrest our descent rate. Keep those wings nice and level. There you go. Nice and stabilized. All right, let's keep bringing up that back pressure. Keep holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> awesome job. All right, I'm going to readjust for the center line. Let's go flaps to 50. Flaps to 50. And off we go. So a nice, gentle application all the way up to full power. I'm going to hold that center line for you. All right, yep, all the way up to full. And 65. Yep, there's your 67. And, and rotate. 67. Beautiful job, man. Excellent work. Killed that. Sirius 5 to the next ray, you establish yourself in the downwind. There is citation traffic to four mile final advice. I've been sight sending under 3,600. Got him in sight, 5 7 sure. That's the next ray, follow them in. Caution wing turbulence, runway 2 1, clear to land. Number 2 2 1, clear to land, uh, 3 5 7 extra. All right, let's pull that part idle. Yep. Yep, keep pointing it down at that number. All right, and then as you come down, let's slowly start bringing that nose up. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it a little bit more. Not bad. Good job, man. Transient. 5-7-X-3, we don't parking. Go to transient. 5 7 x you can turn right when able. And taxi to transient via alpha and monitor ground point 6 3 Are you familiar with the transient ramp? Transient via alpha, monitor ground and affirmative. We are familiar. 5 7 x Roger, have a good up. Ground is... 1-2-1.6. Alright, after landing, let's run it. Uh, power lever, 1,000 yep, so RPM. 1,000, there you go. More. Fuel pump is off. Flaps are up. Transponders, squawk, standby, and lights as required. You can get the landing light off, off. and there you go. And PO heat is off. Uh, and there you go. Nice. There you go. So I can only say that it feels right, it feels right, it feels right, yeah. I can only say that it feels right, it feels right, it feels right, yeah. I can only say that it feels right.